Gwen Stefani is here. Oh my God, Gwen. Gwen again. I can't believe it. I'm so blessed. Thanks for having oh, me. Good morning. Thank you for being Gwen and being here on Coast. Oh my gosh, my favorite. I walk into the room, you guys. I don't know if you can see this. Most of you can't because you're probably in your car. And there is a gigantic, monstrous bouquet, or what is this, an arrangement this... of purple irises. And I'm just like, I cannot stop staring. And I was like, I was just saying, I think those are Siberian irises. <laughs> because I there's bearded irises. Oh. And then the fact that you even, these are these ones I think bloom earlier, and that's why you were able to find them. Okay. Because the bearded ones are, are not ready yet. Do so, they look like they have well, beards? Well, I had one bloom so far, oh. and I think it was just here in California because we... Oh, uh, because the weather. Because it's California. Yeah. We get everything. But, so, yeah. So when did you start studying purple irises? <laughs> when you wrote the song? I, I Well, honestly, I am a huge flower. Like, I, I flower person. Yeah. Like, me and Blake, um, it's the we one... We see you in the garden. Yeah, like, we come together when it comes to that, like... I'm the one that showed him. It was during 2020. We, I was like, can't we just like, because he plants like a lot of, you know, um, oh, alfalfa or like, you know, uh, weeds. Yeah. And like <laughs> weeds. Whatever. <laughs> plant weeds. I don't even. <laughs> he does pla- he plant things you could eat? He like- plants stuff for the animals. Oh, so, okay. But they're huge fields, okay. like on a tractor, like yeah. full, like full farmer guy, yeah. right? And it's exciting even to see that happen because the challenges of, of Oklahoma farming is like it's not a joke. Like uh-huh. the weather's crazy and it's like there's so much against you and there's monster weeds there and it's like crazy. But anyways, I've always loved it. So I said, let's can we plant some zinnias? I, I call them zinnias, but everyone calls them zinnias. So we, uh-huh. I said I convinced him, and when they came up, he just couldn't believe it. Like uh-huh. he, so he got in, started getting into it. We started noticing all the Oklahoma wildflowers, and uh-huh. it was mostly during 2020 because we were there so much. Yeah. And we were able to actually see like the seasons changing and see what what things you don't see if you're not there all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah. So long story short, we ended up um, at when we were in 2020, the whole family was there in quarantine, uh-huh. and we went on like a little recce around like the the ranch, just trying to find undiscovered stuff. And we came across this old abandoned. It was probably there a hundred years, like a homestead. Oh, like cool. small, like smaller than this room like almost crumbled to the ground and around it was all these purple irises. No way. Yeah, and so the irises must have been planted from like 100 years ago. That is awesome. Yeah, and so the irises are super hardy and they they can go through weather any kind of storm Uh and like it doesn't, you don't have to do anything and they'll just literally come back to life every year and so we we transplanted them, all the kids pulled them out, hundreds, and we planted them over where we were living and Uh then then you know, so that's where I got picking purple irises because at the end of the day, no matter what happens, that's that's what we're doing, and that's 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 amazing. You know, He's that's love, cry. right? Oh, I love the that meaning is so of that. Cool. I looked it up in the floriography. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> I did floriography. I didn't even know what that is. It's, I think it's the study of flowers. Mm. <laughs> the floriography says that purple irises represent faith, courage, hope, wisdom, and valor. What's valor? Valor, I think, is isn't valor like I will stand up for you no matter what. Yes. Oh. Like courage. Yes. It's courage. Oh, interesting. Karen Sharp says courage. I say courage. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that well, that's amazing. And then you wrote the song together. No, not at all. Okay. Um. Um. So I had been writing like trying to write like a record forever because mm. I I just. I was trying to, I, we, we, I've been talking about this a lot, but like, I feel like as a mom, you guys all probably mm-hmm. know, like, it's like, it's hard to find time to do things that are like, to me, I consider being a songwriter and going and doing that like a selfish thing. Oh. Cause it's not like I have, it's like, if I want a new song, like, why would I need one? Like, mm-hmm. I would have to take like Hollaback Girl out of the set to play another song. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't right, need yeah. another new song. Uh-huh. Like I, nobody's waiting for it. Like everyone's going to listen to the songs they like already. You know what I mean? But I want to write a new song because I love love writing songs because it's a spiritual thing where if God chooses, he'll like send one to me. Oh, cool. So I'm always like praying for it. Like, please, like, cause it's the greatest feeling ever. And so I had been kind of stealing these moments in the week to try to go and write over like for the last four years, is it? And, mm. um, and it really like, it was like, every time I would go, I'd feel almost embarrassed. Like, 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 go, why am try I doing this to the studio thing? It's again? Like, here I am. Like, I'm in the future of my life, and I still am trying to do this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a little bit like shame to be. Oh Did it feel God. like to you like this isn't happening? This isn't like it's not coming normal. No, or- it, it was coming. I just was going down the wrong musical kind of 
inspiration. Like yeah. I really thought that I needed to go back and be nostalgic and be do stuff I already did. Uh-huh. And I was really, really like focusing on like kind of like a reggae record. And like there was so many, there still is so many good songs. I love the songs, but I also uh-huh. noticed that they weren't doing this thing that makes me when I, when I really love it, I can't stop listening to okay. it. Like obsessively yeah. to the point where I'm embarrassed of my own like behavior. <laughs> so like, <laughs> and it's like on repeat and it's like, wow. And then like, if anyone saw this, but when I finally went into the studio and I wrote Purple Irises, mm. um, which I wrote with this local girl, Nico, who her mom like grew up on No Doubt. So she was literally, um. she's like in her twenties and she actually wrote true babe with me but okay. she we didn't write in the same room like this is us the first time and then there's these guys from sweden that came in uh-huh. they wrote on true babe and it was our first time all in the room together and they are jack and coke they're like a production song singer songwriter guys and we all were there together and i basically was praying on the way to the studio because you never know uh, okay. like it's not like, a like what's gonna like, happen i'm gonna write a song today like sometimes you just mm. fail like a lot of times and and I don't, I don't know them, like, you know? Yeah. And it was, like, awkward. Like, okay, I'm going to go in with this little 20-year-old, like, cool alternative girl, mm-hmm. right? That, And I have to, like, okay, figure you're out Gwen how to Stefani. be... Ha- yeah, like, how but to... you're I'm Gwen Stefani. Have, yeah, but what if I suck that day, you know? Like, I'm going to be... I could suck. I, I do... It's hard. It's not, like... I don't know. Anyway, okay, yeah, so I was so. driving... I got to Orange Grove Street, which is the name of the street the studio is on. Uh-huh. Weird coincidence. And, um... It just came to me, Purple Irises. Oh, I was like, God. that's the song. And that's like a God thing, you know? Yeah. And so I just like went in there and we wrote, and I have like a video of us at listening to it afterward. And we were all, it was like we were all on, we weren't on drugs, but it was yeah. like we were on drugs. You were delirious. We were just, like, sitting there like yes. all like this haze, like listening to this song going, oh, I can't believe we did this, you know? And that was the moment where I knew like, okay, this is me now. Like uh-huh. this is the truth. Like this is, this is what I'm going to force down everyone's sh- throat (laughs) and even if you don't want to hear it i'm gonna be i'm gonna be making you because i i loved it so much so it wasn't a duet and i was actually writing a song to blake Uh about my feelings Uh and um i played it for him like i do everything and Mm -hmm. and he was he loved it and it it, it had it for a long time because then i went on to write like all the songs that are going to end up being my record yeah um but this was kind of the point where i was like oh i now i know where i live this is Uh the world and so he kind of, I don't want to say hinted, but he was kind of like, don't put that out like that. Like, don't put that out. Don't just save that one. And oh. I'm like, why are you saying that? And long story short, he kind of like, I was like, do you want to hop on this? Like, <laughs> I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to ask him yeah. because everyone asks him. And I don't mm-hmm. want him to think I'm trying to like use him to oh, like be right. on my song. What You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would never. And plus it's like a. It was a pop song. Like, how would that work? You know what I mean? And he, his voice is like, no, 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 no. You know, it's like, it's very, like, it's very specific. <laughs> but <laughs> I was sitting at the studio one day and I just texted him. I'm like, you want to try to hop on this? And he was yeah. like, 20 minutes later, he was there and he, he mm. sang it. And I have all the footage of him singing it. I was just, uh. and even after he did, I was like, I don't know if this is really working. All right. But then uh-huh. we, I sent it to his producer, who I fantasized about working with, Scott Hendricks, who's okay. literally he's a genius. Oh, uh-huh. but he could never work with me because he was he had a deal and da da da. Anyways, he retired from that deal, and four days later, oh. he ended up recording this live in Nashville like this with a whole band and that's how we recorded Purple Irises. It was just like a true miracle yeah. situation like to the point where the street that we recorded on the studio mm-hmm. in Nashville was called Iris Street. Oh no, no way. Swear. Way. I swear. And Okay, we, this is like just the universe is like the, showering it, it, you yeah. with It really was. Signs. And, and it was just like one of those craziest things and even like even the people like the guy that owned the studio was like, "Hey, I want to do this so bad when I heard about it." And it only how many days went it was like we the whole thing came together in like ten days or something, mm-hmm. That's and the quick, guy was like right? on tour with Heart, and like he's like, yeah, we just rolled up from the tour this morning at five thirty, and we have to go tomorrow, and it was that kind of thing. Oh, I had to come God. back and shoot the voice like the next day. Yeah. Like, so yeah, it's just been one of those whirlwind like amazing things, and to have him on it, and even like last night we did Jimmy Kimmel, and it was Valentine's you guys Day. Look so like, great. It was like, yeah. what are we doing? And. <laughs> and it was it was just such a it's such an easy song to do like mm-hmm. it just feels so um magical to do live and we did it at the TikTok tailgate and that was also like mm-hmm. I'm like always the kind of person that's going to be like I'm going to screw this up like, oh. for sure like I'm such a I always mess up but 
I, I, it's just who I am. And like, <laughs> and I did it. It was Uh-oh. a miracle. See, everything's <laughs> going your way, Gwen Stefani. <laughs> oh, and congrats on Coachella. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's just a crazy, that's going to be, wow, that's going to be insane. I think the most exciting thing is just hearing how excited everyone else is. Yeah, oh, everyone, I yes. Was, I don't we know. were shocked. I mean, yeah. everyone, I think everyone was just blown away it was such a great like hey guess what so are we (laughs) yeah we're just shocked too and i think that we're gonna get up there and it's just gonna be like riding a bike and it's just gonna be like okay let's let's show them what we got guys bring blake Blake up on stage and do purple irises so everyone can hear it live all right, Ellen, yeah, you gotta call that's, Tony that's, about that's that. That's what I want. That's my wish. <laughs> that is my wish. Tony. Yeah, Ellen's gonna call you, Tony. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, you got a big year for all your kids. Uh, you're gonna have an 18 year old, a 16 year old, and then Apollo's going double digits. Yes, that's so cool. Yes, we we talked Apollo into having a disco party this weekend. We're oh, doing it, yeah. and uh, we got all our costumes. I will be posting on Instagram okay. if you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. My mom's actually having her birthday, and my big, my little brother's having a birthday. So we're having a big, a big party. It's gonna be fun. There'll yeah. be petting zoo. Ah, that's fun. great. <laughs> can't wait. I can't believe he's ten though. I, I ten. It's so weird. That's so cool. It's I remember so he's just a little baby. I know. Yeah. You know that when I started on the Voice, he was four months. Yes, because Blake talks about the car seats. And the oh, baby yeah, yeah, seat yeah. when when you guys like started talking and he's like she'd pull up in her <laughs> minivan with these car seats <laughs> and a baby seat. I think he told the story at your star ceremony. I know, and I would I remember that that's a funny story too because I remember I when I had the third one I was like okay the other two still needed help getting in their chairs so uh-huh. I was like how am I gonna if you had like an SUV like uh, yeah. how am I gonna get them up and in holding it, the baby like yeah of course I have nannies and stuff but it's like. It's still really hard with the diaper bag and uh-huh. like all of it. So I got myself a Odyssey. What was it? The car that has the sliding door that oh, opens on no, its, own, its own. And then it does its own thing. And it's pretty nerdy looking, right? And I was like, I don't care. Like, this is just functioning. Like, we have to make this work. And um, so that was the that was a car I had at the time when I started The Voice. And yeah. I think everybody was like, what? What, what is she rolling up <laughs> That in? is like legit soccer mom. And then I remember they were like, I was driving my kids to soccer practice for real uh-huh. and they were like okay Eminem's gonna be calling you uh today at some point yeah. because he wants you to beat hop on this song and you know like that's Eminem yeah like, this you're is right. like I'm I literally shake just when his name like is mentioned <laughs> and I get the call coming through the car and it's, it's literally him calling me I have all the kids in, in this odyssey <laughs> and I'm like oh my gosh I'm on Mohol and I'm like oh my gosh Eminem like I'm in the car with the kids like in case he was gonna like say any Eminem stuff like I don't know what oh, he was yeah. gonna say and I was like I'm legit going to soccer practice right now um you sure you want me to hop on your song I'm not how oh. cool I am uh, well, you're, you're such a great mommy and you're such a great friend and you're Aww, so talented you. and beautiful and you garden <laughs> oh, and also Vanessa who you did the gender reveal at Honda Center. Okay, so Vanessa, oh, yes. you did her gender reveal. She's one of our listeners. She's still pregnant. Oh my gosh. So I think oh, because... she has five weeks to go, and the baby's middle name will be Gwen. Yeah. Shut Gwenny. up. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. That is amazing. Are we going to call her? Yeah. She's available. Can you today? Talk to her? Right yeah. now? Oh my God. Well, of course. we could call her if you want to say hi. That is insane. We have her number. Oh, wow. um, yeah, I made a note to myself. Wait, that's how long like, ago Honda Center was? Yeah. <laughs> Oh she God. was, was she just pregnant then? She just found out with the oh, she way. just found out. What sex? So that has to be like, what, two, three months? I didn't know. Like, I, I didn't, you know, there's so many people out yeah. there. You don't like know which one to listen to their, yeah. to talk to them. And this is her. Wow. Okay. And while we're waiting, my, she's like, I'm in labor friends, right now. I can't come to named... the phone. Oh, <laughs> I right. said, she's in labor right now. I can't come to the yeah. phone. <laughs> Vanessa. Her water broke. Hello. Hi. Vanessa, you're on. Hi. Gwen is here in the room with us for Purple Irises and also because we just love her and she came to hang. And we told her that you have five <laughs> weeks to go with your baby and you're going to name your baby girl with Gwen in the middle. That's insane. Hi, Vanessa. <laughs> How is the pregnancy? Oh my God. Hi, Gwen. It's it's actually going, you know what? I'm just blessed that I'm having a baby. So I, I don't. It's going well enough where I feel blessed. Oh my gosh, I am I'm I am jealous. Like if I I I I didn't love being pregnant. Uh-huh. I got to be honest, but yeah. when you're out of it, you look back and yes. you're like, "God, that was the most incredible thing." Like mm-hmm. just feeling the baby move in your body and like 
just the whole anticipation. Yes. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe I get to be part of the name. Like what? That is, <laughs> and you know that when I grew up, nobody had nobody I knew had the name Gwen. Like, is it a family? Was it your? No. Oh, okay. It's a really weird story. My mom. I'm not going to tell it because since the name will be part of this daughter, yeah. her daughter, <laughs> I will just keep it to myself. Actually, <laughs> but it's been it's been a good name for me. So. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's great. I, I love the name. And I actually, like, I would search for, like, different nicknames for Gwen. Because when you hear Gwen, like, I don't know any, like, little kid named Gwen. But, I mean, obviously you were a little kid named Gwen. Yes. <laughs> well, they used to call me, a lot of my family called me Gwenny. Um, and I'm yeah. trying to think of the other, that was pretty much the only, the only nickname that yeah. I would ever have. And that was literally just fan, like not my, not my immediate family, like my relatives, like my aunts and uncles yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, that's so cool. But, <laughs> what is, yeah. what's your nickname for, does Blake have a nickname for you? My, he calls me pretty girl. Oh, yeah, I, like I saw girl. the flowers he was sending you when you guys were like releasing and talking about the album and everyone's like, what are they doing? And he, all the cards said pretty girl. Oh my gosh, he is, when he said that to me the first time, and he, because his a accent and everything, yeah. and I was like, is this happening to me right now? Like, is is my boyfriend actually, and he kept doing it, and I was like, oh my God, I have died and gone to heaven. Like, oh. <laughs> I was like, Aww. how is he going to say this when I'm like 70? But hopefully it will oh work God. out. <laughs> Pretty girl. <laughs> Yeah, well, Vanessa, good luck with everything. We are uh, we're thinking of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me a call. This is this is amazing. This has truly really <laughs> been like it doesn't feel real because like if I would have told myself this when I was seven years old that this would be happening, I I wouldn't believe it. And so this is just amazing. Imagine kind of my seven year old me getting my name, like getting named after her. That's, yeah. that's, it's even weirder for, and great for me. Like it's just a miracle. <laughs> I love you're, it. You're a very, very special person. So oh, thank you. My God. She doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so, and thank you for coming to Honda Center. That was just such an incredible show, like an unexpected show. Like felt so much love yes. that night. I just, and then they told me I had played there, like, what, nine times? I had no idea. Like, uh, I am, like, what is Finding Nemo, the girl, the little fish in there? Dory. Yeah, Dory. That's me. Yeah. Like, Dory. I don't remember. Dory. I'm, like, yeah. nothing. <laughs> I won't remember this interview tomorrow. Yeah. I love you, Vanessa. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. I love you, Gwen. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Okay, 10 more seconds. Watch this. Now, okay. now keep the name thing going. This is okay. your best friends. Ready? Oh my God! Are you named serious? After you. After you. That's so crazy. Uh, the name thing's weird. I remember when we named Kingston Kingston, which uh -huh. is a name that I had like forever. Like no matter mm. what, the firstborn was going to be Kingston. I even like like had bought this little Rasta hat in Jamaica oh, when cute. we did Rocksteady, and I was like, "This is going to be his hat, whatever." And um. And then I can remember after that, like, seeing a lot of kids in the school. Like, I'd be like, oh, there'd be, like, a lot of Kingstons. And then I would ask. I was like, oh, how'd you get that? Oh, we named it because you named Kingston Kingston. Like, and I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. and then Zuma, which is even, a, like, a more different name that I've uh -huh. never known anyone of a Zuma. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting at a, this is not even very long ago, and I'm sitting at a game, like, a, one of the kids' games, and I hear, you know, someone on the bleachers, Zuma, Zuma. And it's like, they're calling this little little boy with that like little skinny boy with black hair right because right. i have this really big boy yeah. with blonde hair and it's like that's zuma as i said to her i said is, are you saying is that your son and zuma he she goes yeah i, I copied you oh, and zuma. i was like what oh, <laughs> like, that's awesome at least she admitted it you know? so yeah but yeah. it was weird because he did not look like a zuma to me <laughs> <I was like, laughs> Do you guys go visit your star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame very Wait, often? You know what? We haven't. But somebody came up to me uh, a couple days ago uh -huh. and said that they did. So that made me yeah, happy. But yeah. that, that was that was actually pretty special. I I it what was weird about it is that Blake got his first and I didn't even know when he got his that I was gonna be getting one, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. um and he was kind of like so w burnt out with work at that point because he was doing his final season of The Voice. He, you know, the guy never stops. I mean, it's it's literally insane if you really knew how much work the guy has done yeah. in his lifetime. Uh. And so it was kind of like just another day on the calendar for him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. he hadn't, he didn't make a big deal about it. And we were like, we're flying in your family. And we had this big party for him. And he was like, for him, having a party was like another thing. Uh, you know what I mean? Right, he just yeah. wanted to just like just have get a pizza and watch TV. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, 
when I did mine, I just didn't, I wasn't thinking it was going to be that emotional because mm. it was, because he had just had his and it wasn't very emotional because we just, it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was just, just different. Yeah. And by the way, Carson roasted him the entire time. And like, yeah. it was like, yeah. it wasn't very <laughs> emotional. It was like any excuse to tell Blake how much he sucks at his heart. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that that was, it was really shockingly special. And, it was emotional. And yes. it, plus it's just all so much love for you. And we love you so much. As you know. Thank you. And this probably can't go on the air, but we got you a little spoon for your kitchen. Oh, is this a spoon? Because you're the Blake queen. Around with? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Look, you got the queen of blanking everything. <laughs> that is so cute. That is going in the kitchen. And yeah. I don't, maybe not appropriate for the boys, but they need to know something about me. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, congrats on Purple Irises Thank you guys. and all the great music to come and everything you're doing. And we love you so much, Gwen. It's hard to put into words. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for playing my music and yes. everybody out there listening all these years. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks for inspiring me to keep mm -hmm. going. Thank you.